Damsel in the Dollhouse with Darkness. Now, with this one, Nina, did you just try to make this just a, uh, uh, well, pardon expression, as dark as possible just because of the name alone? Um, well, I was really influenced by the film Legend. Um, so I wanted to try to capture the, the feeling of the character Darkness. Right. Um, and I, I kind of put my own spin on it where um, Lily actually is choosing darkness over Jack. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I tried to make it as dark as possible. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Uh, B? Do you have any boundaries when it comes to videos? To video? Yeah. Um, you know, when you make videos, yeah, I... do you have boundaries? Um, well, I probably wouldn't do nudity. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the kind of boundary. Um, <laughs> no, that's, that I, is I, I have to it experiment. Wasn't what I was so. of, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. When it comes to your kind of, you know, genre of music and the whole thing, I, I mean, I, was, I wasn't thinking of nudity. I was thinking more of... <laughs> Just the whole, I don't know, I was thinking probably of horrific things. <laughs> More than I was thinking that. But hey, let's go with nudity. <laughs> I don't mind, you're a sexy lady. It's fine. <laughs> thank you. Well, Nina, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. But thank you so much for being on the show. And we'd love to have you back sometime. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Bones. Thank you, Forgotten Bee. Um, and thank you for supporting us little unknown artists because this is such a treat and means the world to me. Thank you. Anytime, you guys. That's what we love to do. So, Nina, you have a good night, and we'll talk to you very soon. You too. Bye, right. everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, that was Nina, who is Damsel in the Dollhouse. Uh, we did have a few technical issues, and I do apologize for that. Uh, Sometimes uh, the internet likes to act up and uh, be a bit of a pain in the ass, but it happens sometimes. So we're going to continue on here. So we got some more music to get to. Uh, next up, we're going to get to, uh, let's see what I have on my list here. Uh, all right. The newest song by Tweez Condition, which is a free download, by the way, right now. And uh, it's a good, really good tune. So uh, let's get to that in just one moment here. If you can pull it up because... Uh, you know, it's just one of those nights. So uh, here we go. The sweet condition with knock us down. Dig this.
the Swedish condition with knock us down and that's available for free download at the moment and it is a great tune that was a really rocket tune like very industrial very nine snails driven as far as i'm concerned and leslie who is half of the Swedish condition she just nailed it nailed it that was a fantastic tune very strong very exciting rhythmically very commercial and beat heavy very cool yeah i was very impressed with that song so next up uh we have a guy who's uh actually you know what let's uh do the other one first and then we'll get to him so next up is a band called the living dead girl out of the uk and I did interview them yesterday afternoon, uh, well, 3 p.m. my time, 8 p.m. GMT. Uh, it was Jess and Jono, and they were a lot of fun. Talked about their newest single, Autumn, which will be officially released on the 16th. It's called Autumn. Dig this.
Living Dead Girl with Autumn. Uh, now, I uh, heard that for the first time yesterday when I interviewed Jono and Jess. And uh, like we discussed, this is a little bit different from uh, some of the others they've released, such as uh, Skylines and uh, uh, was it Night Creatures. And uh, there's one more I'm trying to remember, which is a free download, but a little bit uh, lighter in feel as far as music goes, because that one's a little bit more dark, but still cool. And what we were talking about yesterday too as well, and Dave uh, from Grass Crown I mentioned before as well, is that she... Uh, Jess is uh, going to sound almost kind of like uh, Beth Gibbons from uh, Portishead. And a little bit mixed in with Massive Attack as well. And it's such a cool thing. And that's what Jonah was saying. It was such a, uh, a such a refreshing change from what he was used to. You know, having this kind of light yet creepy sounding vocals over this dark music. It just kind of really made it stand out. I find this really sexy. Me. Um, there's a really... I know, look, don't stop. What? <laughs> but I really do. It's kind of the, yeah, but there's this, oh, this continual beat. And for me, I could write this. I could have this in the background. I know it's all weird or whatever you want to say, but for me, it's really powerful. I can have it going in the background and I can write this. So for me, very cool. Right on. So next up, we're going to get to uh, an artist that uh, recently discovered in the past uh, few weeks. And uh, it goes by the name of One Man Standing. This one is called Soul Sepsis. Dig this. <laughs> <laughs> 